everybody, I'm Psychic Cosplay, and today I'm going to be showing you how I strap my armor. In particular, how I strap up a bracer. So let's get started. I have, I have here a pre-made little arm bracer that I made out of foam and a little bit of warbla. This is a demo piece that I made a while ago, and I'm going to be using it to show you guys how I strap my armor today and how I do all my armor attachments on the inside of the piece. So that's what we're going to be doing. And so, yeah, that's, that's, we're going to, we're going to strap this guy. All right. So we're going to get a weird talking head perspective here. Okay. All right. So you have your armor piece. What you're going to want to do first is I also forgot to mention, you're going to want some sort of marking device. These are paint pens. So they, they actually are white. Uh, that's marking device. That's not black so that you can mark on your strapping. I use one inch wide nylon strapping. All of these materials are going to be listed in the description box down below where you can get them. Uh, this is the type of strapping that I like to use. So I'm going to take my arm here, roll up my sleeve, put my piece on my arm, and just kind of measure about an ap approximate amount of strapping that I think I'm going to need to go all the way underneath my arm. And it's to about where my right ring finger is. So I'm just gonna take that. And this is an approximate amount that I'm gonna be using just as a guide. Plus there's a lot of overlap. You're gonna want a lot of overlap in your strapping so that you have enough to glue down. Now, usually I'm going to take the Velcro and sew it on to my strap for the end that I don't glue down to the armor. But for the sake of this video, I'm just going to be gluing the uh, Velcro to the strapping. Don't do as I do, do as I say. Sew the Velcro onto the strapping. The Velcro that you're going to want to use, you don't want any sticky Velcro. You want sew on Velcro. It just got fabric on one side and the Velcro on the other. That's what you're going to want to be using. This is one inch sew on Velcro. I get this in 10 yard rolls off of Amazon. So I'm going to cut two pieces, one from each side of the Velcro. And you want them to be about the same size. So I've got the hooks and the loops cut out. Roll my sleeve back down. Whenever I'm attaching armor, especially for forearm pieces or gauntlets, I want to have an attachment point at the front and at the back. So right now I'm doing the back piece. So I'm going to just glom some glue right onto the foam itself. Get it nice and gluey and always make sure that when you're working with foam or attachments you're using high temperature hot glue if you use low temp or multi temp the bond is not going to be very strong and you're going to be a sad potato now a number of people when they make strapping attachments are actually going to take and score the foam and then hit it with a heat gun to open up the foam to get more surface area to attach the strapping. I don't do that. That's a personal preference. I find that just having enough glue under the strap is sufficient for, for me. The next thing that I do is I take my glue gun and I take a bead of glue and go around all of the edges so that all of the edges have a bead of glue all the way around and including the front edge right there. So now I've got a bead of glue all the way around that strapped piece. P strapped piece? Piece of strapping. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut another small piece of nylon webbing. And I'm actually going to use this as a support for that strap. So what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to put glue on that piece and then take that and put it across that strap. This provides resistance for the strap itself and support so that when it's pulling, uh, when you're trying to put this on or if there's any sort of tension on the joint, it's providing support and resistance for that strap. So that whenever I do this, it's a very strong bond and it's a very strong attachment point. And I'm going to do the same thing that I did with the, the strap in the first place is I'm going to put a bead of glue around all of the edges. Now this is going to look weird and nasty on the inside, but no one's going to see it. No one's going to see all of your glue and it's going to stay there. So now we have a nicely, oh, that's not in the middle, nicely glued down strap. So you can see this strap has been glued down very well and it's been reinforced with a strap, another piece of strapping that's uh, perpendicular, that's the word, to the first piece. Okay, next up, I'm gonna glue one of the pieces of Velcro onto the opposite side of the arm piece. Now you can do this and have the uh, pieces meet in the middle. Um, so you have two straps on either side and have it Velcro down. You can do what I'm doing, which is to Velcro across and basically make a loop uh, with your, your strapping. Either is fine. I tend to do the loop. So what we're gonna do here. So I'm gonna glue the loops side of the Velcro. Get it nice and gluey, so nice puddle of glue. And stick your Velcro down. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing that I did with the strapping and put a bead of glue around the outside of the Velcro. I'm gonna do that. And that's all glued down. Now we're gonna to have to wait for that to cool down and harden. But if the magic of editing, you're not gonna to have to wait with me. All right, so the hot glue has set, it's cooled down. So now I wanna figure out where I'm gonna glue the Velcro onto this strap. And that's where marker comes in. So I have my arm in the piece of armor here and I'm just gonna kind of eyeball where I'm gonna glue that inner piece of Velcro to. So right about there. on that glue on. I do recommend actually sewing this on. If you do glue it down, it is liable to come apart. The fabric doesn't glue as well to the fabric of the strapping as it does to the foam, um, at least in my experience. And any excess um, strapping you can either cut it off or you can leave it. That's a personal preference. So I'm just gonna cut it flush to, or almost flush to the Velcro. And then you probably want a little bit of glue on the front there. Also, it keeps the strapping from fraying and a little bit of bead of glue at the back. And that, my friends, is a completed arm strap. Ta-da! Now I'm gonna, off camera, just real quick, strap up the front and I'll show you guys what the finished product looks like. And there you have it, a nicely strapped arm piece. Now this technique of reinforcing your attachment points uh, of the strapping is gonna work really, really well for all armor pieces. It's gonna keep those attachment points from popping off at cons or during 
vigorous wear during a photo shoot. I have very rarely popped an attachment. Um, I can count on one hand the number of times that's happened using this technique. This is my own technique that I've developed over the years. It's not everybody's technique. Everybody's going to do it a little bit differently, but I wanted to show you guys how I attach my armor. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.